Hi, all my mentors. Um, I just wanted to show you what your assignment's going to be this week. Um, I'm going to assign it today, Friday. It's going to be due next Friday. Um, but do it whenever you have time. It's not one that's going to take you very long, probably, um, but it is going to make a big difference. So I had seen this news story um, about sending well wishes to patients that are in the hospital, um, to the healthcare workers who are working um, in the hospitals and working with the patients. Um, I thought, what a great idea for us to get involved um, in our student-to-student -student program and just reach out into our community as well. So this is going to be our assignment today. I'm going to click on it. You're going to watch a quick video, and then I'll tell you the directions. One of the many heartbreaking aspects of this outbreak is the patients that are battling COVID-19 are being forced to do so without their loved ones by their side. Now, a local hospital system has found a way for the community to show their support. Our Dr. Frank George is here to explain how you can send your well wishes to patients and staff. The idea was inspired by the nurses at Henry Ford who shared how stressful the no visitor policy is for patients and their family. This program uses the hospital's in-house TV monitors to let the community reach out virtually to send messages of encouragement. They come in a little story. They come in sometimes a, a crayon picture by a young children. They come in uh, inspirational quotes. It's called Well Wishes. Bob Riney, Henry Ford's chief operating officer, says the hospitals have already received thousands of messages to share with patients. We're with you and we care about you and we are praying in whatever way people pray for their um, safety and their return to health. They've now expanded the program to include wishes for staff as well. We now have a way for the community to not only touch our patients with messages of encouragement, but also to send messages to our staff that they know how hard they are working. They know the risk they are putting themselves in, and they are so, so appreciative of it. A much needed boost for those fighting this illness. The nurses have reported the smiles on their faces, the thumbs up when they're able to read these messages. Now we've put a link to send a message to patients or staff on the health page at clickondetroit.com. There is also an email address to send pictures of homemade cards or drawings so you can get your kids involved too. Now the Carmanis Cancer Institute has started a similar program for their patients and we have included that link as well. Back to you. All right, thank you so So pretty neat, huh? Um, I thought, what a great way for us to get involved. Oops, I'm going to have to figure out how to get out of this site. Oh, there it is. Um, so here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be giving you the link. Um, they have their link right here. Click send well wishes. Um, oops. Well, I guess that's good. I want you guys to see this anyway. Um, so when you click on the well wishes, I have done this earlier. Um, it's really quick and easy, but again, it makes a big difference. You're going to put your location of your message, where you'd like it to go. Um, you just pick one of the hospitals. You're going to prove that you're not a robot. You're going to submit it. And then from there, you get to actually pick what kind of card look you want it to be. And remember, this is just like a digital card. So it's going to show up on the screens in their rooms. Um, in the screens in the hallways. So they have some, they have different ones you can choose from, and then you get to type in your own personal message onto that. Um, just a nice uplifting message for um, the patients and for the workers as well. Um, so that's gonna be your assignment for this week. Um, and again, you don't have to do it this way. Um, you're welcome to use their email um, and email them a card that you want to create and you want to take pictures of it and create it. Um, they do say that they can't accept any photos of people. So as wonderful as that would be for them to see your smiling face, please do not put any pictures um, in any emails that you would send to them um, as far as the get well cards and stuff. Um, so you're welcome to email if you'd like. Um, I think, like I said, I did it this way. It was worked really well. Um, maybe you have uh, family um, that have been in um, the hospital. Maybe you have family that works in the hospital. Um, I did talk to my sister-in-law and I asked her, if, you know, does she actually see these? And she said, oh yes, they definitely do see and very much appreciate them. So that's your assignment this week. When you're done, you're just going to go ahead and 
um, go ahead and on our Google Classroom, just tell me what you did as part of your assignment. You don't need to send it to me, you're sending it to them. Um, but just tell me, did you do the online one? Did you create something and attach it as an email that was a, some kind of craft? Um, did you send a personal message to someone that you know who is a healthcare worker? Maybe you, you know someone like that in your family that you would like to be uplifting to that particular person. Go ahead and send it to them instead. You don't have to go through this page. You're welcome to go ahead um, and send it directly to that person. Um, if you know anyone who is sick, you're welcome to, again, send it directly to that person. Just let me know which way you did. Did you do it on here? Did you send it directly to someone that you know? Um, and that'll get you your full credit for the week. All right, guys, I'm excited for this. I thought this was a great idea. I hope you do too.